So I'm Zach Exley, and I'm an organizer uh, in the United States. And I, um, I've, I've actually been watching the rise of Trump and, and this new kind of politics from uh, my home in a, a rural and uh, very conservative part of the country in southwest Missouri. And uh, it's, you know, there's, there's all this analysis going on, people trying to understand Trump and this new era. It's hard to understand. It's, Every day in the United States, when people uh, look at the headlines, um, you know, sometimes we look at each other and we say, how, like, how can we be reading these headlines? You know, if you look at the states that gave Trump his victory, they're, they're mainly lots and lots of voters stayed home. There wasn't a huge surge of people that came out to vote for Trump's racist uh, populist message or his economic populist message, which actually sounds quite left-wing if you just look at his uh, economic rhetoric from the campaign, not what he's actually doing or what he actually stands for, but what he said about economics uh, in, in, in those big stadium rallies that he did all over those states that gave him his victory. So, um, it, there, but there wasn't a big surge of people coming out to vote for Trump, either for racism or misogyny or for his populist economic message. Uh, in fact, he got fewer votes in those key states that gave him his victory than Mitt Romney did or than uh, uh, George W. Bush did. Actually, only a tiny bit of momentum um, for the left is going to lead to electoral victories for the left. And uh, you know, just a tiny bit more support for Hillary Clinton would have would have meant that she was president. And I think in the 2018 midterm elections, Democrats will have a tiny bit more momentum than they did before. And, they'll, and a lot of Republicans are gonna stay home. That's what it's looking like because um, Trump is kind of embarrassing them more and more and more. Uh, and so I think we're gonna see the Democrats come to power in, the, in Congress you know, and the White House in 2020, easily. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, the Democrats and you know, pro pro just mainstream progressive politics in America don't have a compelling vision for the American people right now about how to actually improve people's lives. I mean, America right now is a country where, the, where life expectancy is going down, where maternal mortality, you know, women dying in childbirth is going up been going up for the past few years. Every year there are fewer businesses, small businesses being wiped out. Uh, wages have been stagnating or falling for most of the American people for a long time, and they still are. So uh, the Democrats and mainstream progressives, and even most of the left, has no uh, compelling vision for how to turn that around, unfortunately. So they're going to win because people are so disgusted by Trump. But uh, they're not, when, when the Democrats come in, they're not going to make fundamental changes to the economy uh, that are gonna move people's lives forward again. And so what happens in 2028? What happens after eight years of democratic rule with no progress? Um, well, the, the problem is, is that if we really go that route, and if we don't really fundamentally alter uh, the course that the left is on in America right now, and the progressive movement is on, uh, then we're leaving ourselves open to somebody uh, who uses Trump's politics, which he sort of happened on by accident, just by A-B testing messages in front of these huge rallies. Uh, you know, he's got, Trump has no organization around him. He can't even get a cabinet together. What happens if somebody uh, from uh, a conservative, uh, from conservative politics, from right-wing politics, uh, figures out how to use his kind of rhetoric, his organizing strategies, his kind of message, and, but actually puts together an organization and, act, and actually rules. We, we have this moment of really great opportunity where uh, if, if progressives can somehow come together and, uh, and, and figure out how to put together a bold uh, vision for how we can actually make things better for Americans, uh, then uh, we've, we've got an opening where we can lead with that. Uh, so hopefully that's what will happen over the next uh, couple of years in the run-up to the 2020 election.